what an amazing event Rocky Mountain 2023 has been. From all the products we got to see and unfortunately so many more that we didn't get to see. While a lot of you saw this really awesome 3D printed Lamborghini, we actually never got to talk with the maker and owner. So, you know, just saying that could be a future podcast. If you guys would like to see it, let me know in the comments. This thing was super cool. Built on a Corvette chassis and with real Lamborghini parts in it. Because instead of getting a cease and desist, Lamborghini thought it was super cool and actually sent them parts. Which is, well, kind of what makes a maker a maker. And while certainly it will get walked by a real Lamborghini event door, you got to admit, it's pretty darn cool. And by the end of the event, so many people had signed it. Now it's kind of like a piece of collector memorabilia. You got to love it. But there's plenty more making coming up, so... Sit back, this one's gonna be uh, a bit fun. Narrated by yours truly. Cookie Cat has really expanded their filament catalog with colors since the last time we talked to them at Rocky Mountain 2023, which we'll card to if you would like to take a look. And while we didn't have a chance to talk with them this year, it is obvious that they are doubling down on really interesting and unique colors. Rather than just the standard, normal, everyday colors, they're looking at where the holes in the market are and are doing their best to fill them with their cotton candies and their translucent sent rainbows with lots of glitter in it cookie cat is kind of looking at regular filament colors and saying how about we do it just a little bit differently and i think they've done a great job at it we do want to use cookie cat in an upcoming project i think the baby belt might be a really great one for cookie cat but i'm not certain if we have to use like a pla a petg or if we do have to go over to an ABS or an ASA if we do end up going with the heated bed option. But nonetheless, absolutely beautiful colors out of the Cookie Cat team. And from what we've seen, they're only expecting way cooler colors as time goes on. What is your favorite color that Cookie Cat makes? Let me know, because honestly, I, I, I need some help here. They have a lot of options and uh, it can be a little overwhelming, but that is so awesome when it comes to having lots of options for great colors. Zombie Hedgehog has had some absolutely amazing projects with this super awesome stealth changer that uh, is a multi-tool head tool changer Voron. I'm sorry. That's just freaking cool. And I, 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 I did enjoy making this shot trying to follow the printer around. And it shows what's possible with Clipper and going fully open source. Tap changing and stealth changing is honestly really freaking cool and i think this is a micron i honestly don't know the voron terminology i'm sure the voron people are going to eat me up in the comments but hey that's all for the views if you will or engagement i guess awesome stuff he's given away some printers some stuff from pez liz and honestly a really nice table banner good job austin zombie hedgehog who will be an upcoming podcast guest so stay tuned for that and uh he was also showing off the Amber Prototypes plates. I noticed something. Do you guys see it? The Polymaker booth, of course, always puts on a beautiful show with literally every freaking color. And it uses an NFC or RFID system. So you can put a little Polymaker scientist on the reader and on screen, it will show you the color. It's one of the most interesting examples of showing filament in a way that is not only meaningful, but hands-on. And yeah, I could certainly see this could be a real pain to set up and tear down, but boy howdy, is that shot ever worth it. Really beautiful work from the Polymaker scientist. Yeah, this is what a community is all about. These are all made by their community members. And I had no idea the Polymaker had so many colors. How many do they actually have? You guys let me know. They also had a little bit of a shooting gallery, but you know how this goes with the YouTubes. We couldn't show it happening, but these blasters were actually pretty awesome. They were all fully 3D printed and they worked quite well. Um, I'm sure it has nothing to do with the 3D print in general now being on the Polymaker team, which he currently denies, but I don't, I don't know about that. Anyways, it is a super cool way to show off not only their filament, but in an interactive way that while it does take up a lot of booth space, Polymaker has booth space to spare. So I think this worked out really well for them. It was a great little hands-on way to show off their filament.
Oh, yes, the Deep Fried Heroin Booth, DFH. Yes, that's what it stands for. And this insane printer that used... I, I can't even fundamentally describe it properly. How nuts of a build this was. This looks like a former engineer from Pantheon Design built it. Truly just everything that you could have had. And then, of course, Flycron, the printer that you could hear across the entire event that uses literal ducted fans for a Z-axis. Uh, it interrupted quite a few of our recordings, but, you know, it's kind of cool. It is the one true flying gantry printer. The Swiss 3DC Company. I don't think I've ever seen a more unique hot end design in a long time. These hot ends split open to have a removable nozzle that makes nozzle cleanup and changing incredibly simple. Pretty much a one-handed operation while the entire thing is still in situ on the printer. And while for some hot ends, it does currently require some modification to maintain stock build dimensions, I think that this is one of the more unique hot end designs that we've seen in a very very long time and they've had compatibility with tons of companies already from bamboo to revo to creality so much is already available from swiss 3dc i do want to do a deep dive with these guys i think they have a really cool thing we just always were busy or they were swamped i will tell you is one of the more interesting booths that we never expected to see and look it's so simple that i can do it while still technically holding a camera. It's not the easiest, I'm not gonna lie, when you're still holding a camera, but that is pretty flippin' cool. I think guys are really gonna like to see what comes out of their facility in the coming months, because I know we're gonna be watching them like a hawk. Would you like to see their hot ends on the channel, and if so, what printer would you like us to put it on? Because I have no clue. The DLL PDF team was showing off some of the most vibrant powder coating systems I have ever seen. I have always wanted to do a crazy color Voron frame, and the DLL PDF is pretty much the best way to get, whether it's really anything that you want, colored, but they really specialize in aluminum extrusions like you see here. From crazy neons to dark earths, they can make basically any color, and I am incredibly impressed with the quality of that powder coating. At least I think it's powder coating. The way that they've challenged the standard colors, like, oh, you can do a red printer, or a black printer, or a blue printer. No, what specific red or what specific blue would you like? I would love to use their rails and pieces in an upcoming project. We will have to see how we can integrate it in. It's a really, really cool thing, and hey, if you're lucky, maybe that 10% off code still works. No promises. Diamondback, of course, the maker's best friend, brought out a smorgasbord of diamond accoutrement for your 3D printer. Now, also, at Micro Swiss, where they're using the Flowtech technology with the diamond tips on it. They even had this really interesting magnetic levitation disc thing, but they had a bunch of diamonds on it because... Why not? And for those that know, it's basically in the style of a drill bit used for mining oil and gas because, well, that's the industry that Diamondback is actually from. We had a great talk with the Diamondback guys a while back. I think it might be fun to redo that. We'll card to it so you guys can take a look. But definitely at some point, we want to go out to see their facility. Zach Friedman did a tour, and it was super cool to see it. But I know that there is so much more there that Zach couldn't show that I want to see too. They do amazing things over there, and making polycrystalline diamond is certainly no small feat. But what wasn't a small feat either was watching Rod get a perfect score on Joel's game that he put together for the show. And while technically it was supposed to be a carnival game with the hammer, and it was a 3D printed hammer, that one did not survive the entirety of day one. So quickly, by utilizing the help of Mr. 3D Printy himself, they were able to make a brand new product that was still able to test reaction times, and Rod, well, he got a perfect score, which was super awesome to see. It's great to see makers, well, make things work when it's needed, and of course, Diamondback guys are always about making.
Ah, uh, yes, burning metal with metal, because Rack Robotics just has to do it a little bit different. We recently talked to the Rack Robotics team on a full-length podcast where we learned a lot more about melting metal with a wire, wire EDM, and they have a setup that literally runs on an Ender 3, so you could start cutting metal parts for less than 500 US dollars. And they are working on a four axis variant that will let you cut way more complicated things that is gonna be a little bit more expensive, but you can see tons of examples of wire EDM parts cut on the table there. I think they got a really cool kit that brings subtractive into additive and certainly brings wire EDM into the masses where traditionally it's like 10 plus thousand dollars to even touch this kind of thing. So kudos to you guys. Super cool booth, but gosh, there was a lot of RF interference. Still cool though. Ah, uh, yes, the Voron Phoenix IDEX, because what is more ridiculous than having a Voron Phoenix? It's having an IDEX version of it because... Why not? You know, that that's fine. This printer is an absolute nutcase of a machine. Crazy overbuilt with just... What can we do? The answer is yes, just freaking do it. The Voron team always put on a super awesome show with some of the most vibrantly colored 3D printers and crazy large displays of crazy small things that we've ever seen. And yes, ladies and gents, that is a Voron CNC coming soon, TM. The Voron design crew are a bunch of awesome people that make beautiful printers, even if some of them don't fit through standard size doors. Uh, Voron shower when? Because apparently that's actually a thing. But, really cool systems. I love a Phoenix. I don't exactly know if we have the space for it, but I do think it is a super cool way to show off that, yes, you can just go bigger. You gotta make a few concessions and make things a little bit heavier and sturdier and stronger, but it is possible. And yes, I recognize that so many booths were not covered. We tried and tried and tried. And so if you were at the show and you had a booth and we didn't come by and you wanted us to come by, here is your chance. If you can prove to me that you had a booth at Rocky Mountain Rep Rep 2024 and you would like to have an episode on our podcast, talk about what you do, how you do it, and why you do it reach out to me, YouTube at 3dmusketeers.com. We do want more podcast guests anyways. This is a great way to get, instead of five to 10 minutes of talk time, over an hour. And there have been some amazing podcasts that have come from Rocky Mountain already. We will link to them in the description because honestly, there's way too many to card to at this point. The show was absolutely amazing, except for every single time that uh, Mr. Edge of Tech Jim interrupted us. There's a whole running joke of it. And we did put together a super cut of every single time it happened. Yes, Jim, we actually did that. And it will be available to those of you that do support us financially. So if you do want to see that, as well as all the other behind the scenes footage because more 360 videos are going up from the event because yeah we, we did record every single one of our interviews in full 360 so you guys can watch it from whatever perspective that you would like then hey support us for a couple of bucks a month that goes a long way to helping make trips like this possible thank you all for enjoying our coverage of rocky mountain rep rep 2024 our next big event right now is looking like it's going to be the east coast rep rep now 3d printopia but if you are in the tampa bay area come out to gulf coast MakerCon, where we will be not only displaying but we will be filming there on this Saturday, June 8th. So come out and see us, come say hi, get a photo, get a signature, whatever you want. We would love to see more local fans and be able to hang out with you guys because we're around town all the time. We'd love to see you while we are around as well. But again, thank you to the Rocky Mountain Rep Rep crew for bringing us out there as well. Their generous assistance helps make trips like this possible. Thank you all as well. The names listed right next to me at the $5 tier and higher for making these trips possible. Again, if you were at the show, you didn't get to talk to us, but you wanted to, you can email me. We would love to have you on as a podcast. We do our best to make sure that we can hit as many people as possible. But ultimately, this show was double the size of last year, and last year we ran out of time. So it was still a ton of fun. We love these kind of events. And for those of you that we met, thank you for letting us hang out get a bit of talk, and if we got to see you, thank you for coming up and saying hi. We love meeting our fans. You guys are super awesome people. Every single one of you. Anyways, 
the entire playlist for the Rocky Mountain Rep Rep 2024 will be right below me. So if you want to see all of our coverage now, click it and enjoy it in its entirety. And right next to that will be Rocky Mountain Rep Rep from last year. There are so much more behind the scenes content coming out. So stay tuned, get subscribed, leave a like and do all the right things. But stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always, keep making awesome. Have a good one. All right. I'm going to clap back in. So, Joe, tell hey, me. Just trying to record right now. So. <laughs>